Hey everybody, it's Matt from This and That with Matt. Well, today is Wednesday, so it's a wacky, wild, or weird Wednesday. So, a lot of you know that, um, you obviously know I collect MREs and military survival kits. You also know I collect KISS dolls and Star Wars memorabilia. But, did you know I'm a sucker for old candy? Yes. I collect old candy, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple pieces of my collection, and we might even open up something that's 20, 30 years old. Let's see how it goes. So, basically, I collect a lot of stuff. Um, I'm a vintage for old stuff, so I got a lot of gum, like old bubble yum, or, you know, bubble yum stuff from the 90s. Have stuff like that. Have some Simpsons gum from the 90s. You know, I think this is 90s or 2000s. Oh, check this out. Um, this got in here too. These are actually erasers. Good thing I didn't open that. That yeah, little vintage erasers there. Um, eh, some Domino's gum, Domino's pizza gum. Save those over there for later. Some uh, some candy high tops. This is. A Nintendo Game Boy bubblegum and trading cards. Checked out 88 cents from Walmart. This is from 1993. Well, got bubble. A whole bunch of these. Let's see here. I have another. This one is <clears throat> strawberry lemonade. Another cotton candy. Another strawberry lemonade. Another cotton candy and another strawberry lemonade. So I have you know three of each of those and I'll keep me going this is morphin bubble gum this was 30 cents check that out you know just old I think this is kind of it's actually um uh might be Canadian one normal thing juji fruit I don't know how that got in there some of my old school candy friends will know this. These old candies, bubble gum, you get these little cartons. So you have like apple juice, and orange juice, bubble gum, another orange juice, and then the grape juice. These were cool. I remember getting these as a kid. These have to be from, I'd say, these are from 1982. So I'd have been 12 years old then. Oh, it's a gummy pizza. This is a Jurassic Park egg, something in there. Um, Hot Wheels sour candy. Terminator 2 sour candy. Star Trek Next Generation Photon Candies. Check those out. Man. Last but not least, check this out. So this is an entire box of Mad Magazine Idiotic Fruity Candy. That's a whole case. You know, so probably not going to open that. Um, I get a bonus. It's a um, Cool, it's got a 16 page garbage collector edition on the back of each box. Um, yeah, so let's see. Take a box out. Yeah. Cool, check that out right there. So, yes, yeah, so this is a whole case of those. It's kind of neat. But yeah, something a little bit different other than, you know, the MREs and everything. The other two cool things I have these are older. These are Heller fruit drops. And these are, this is a, can, this is a canister of rock candy. This actually is. Pre, well, this has to be pre-85 because it refers to Haley's Comet coming in 1985. So I'm thinking I'm going to open up and try some of this T2 meltdown. So what's cool about this is like it's already kind of coming off there. So, so again, this is... This is a Terminator 2 Sour Meltdown. Super Sours Meltdown to Super Sweets. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to... Terminator 2 was out... I don't know. What? Late 80s, early 90s? So even if this is 95, 2005, 2005... 
you're talking it's you know almost 30 years old so let's see if uh, what the condition is and let's see what it tastes like if I can even open it holy mackerel oh yeah not gonna eat those woo so yeah that looks like caviar um, that looks like inedible caviar to me so I'm gonna do what only smart people do I'm going to put the lid back on that and I'm gonna pretend that we never opened it no one's gonna know they're gonna know no one's gonna know uh, okay this one seems to be in a little bit better shape uh, this one is 92 so that's 2002, 2012. This is uh, 31 years old. So let's open this up and see what it tastes like. See if I can get a cut in the seam there. Set the knife down. See if I can peel that off a little bit. So I hope everybody's week is going well. My week's been going good, just been busy at work, doing a huge project. It's kind of cool, doing some training centers for a local company. Oh yeah, woo! So check this out. So you have that, you open it up and you get dust. Oh wow, they don't look too bad. All right, let's well, um, so it looks like you got yellow. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm That just tasted horrible and old. Here's an orange. Uh, this one is like an orange one. Mm. Again, sweet, no real orange flavor, old. Um, try another one. That one tastes like medicine. Yep, sorry for being gross, but yeah. Well, those did not hold up well. Let's find one more thing to open up, see if we can find something that's actually good and edible. Well, let's try. Okay, this is a gummy. I don't think I want to do this. I'm not a big fan of gummies. Um, okay, let's try these. So these are from 1992. Hey, $7.50 discount coupon for a communicator pin. Wow. Send three coupons with $7.50 and three UPC codes. From any one and a half ounce package to Star Trek Photon Candies, plus $2.50 shipping and handling to New Age Services, P.O. Box 3002, Westfield, New Jersey. Wow. It's seven eighths larger than that photo. It's amazing. It's amazing. We used to have to fill out an envelope and write a note and put a check or a money order in there and then buy a stamp and then put it in that blue box and just wait patiently by your mailbox for days and weeks and months on end to get your stuff. So I'm going to try to open these up. I have no idea what they're going to taste like. I have no idea if they're any good. I do know that their sugar and corn syrup are the first two uh, ingredients. So must be nice. Must not be bad. Let's see here. Alrighty, let's uh, gonna rip these open. They don't smell like anything. Kind of look like a uh, kind of weird there. Hard shell on the outside, stale as hell on the inside. Oh my god. Yeah, so I'm getting full. Yeah. That's horrible. Oh wow. I'm hoping. Oh my god, that's horrible. I'm hoping for the manufacturer's sake that that was, that was actually um, uh, an issue of age and not and not what it's supposed to taste like. But yeah, so. I think I'm done eating that old stuff. It's always risky when you eat old stuff. You don't know if it's good, you don't know if it's bad. You don't know if it's gonna taste good, you don't know what's gonna be. 
But I just wanted to show you that I do have some other stuff in the house. I also collect uh, board games. I collect some vintage board games. I'm really fascinated with Ouija boards as well. I don't play Ouija boards, um, but I do have Ouija boards all the way dating back from, I have a, a board from the late 40s, early 50s, and I have a 60s board, a 70s, an 80s. I think I've got four or five of them. It's kind of cool, maybe one video on a, on a Wednesday, I'll break those out and show you. But I just wanted to show you that other than MREs, and Kiss and Star Wars collectibles, I kind of have some other stuff. Wasn't too weird, wasn't too wacky, wasn't too wild, but it was a Wednesday. I'm gonna leave it at that, that's like a mic drop moment. But um, yeah, Saturday, come back at you with something survival. I think I might review a survival, uh, a civilian survival kit that sold that we can kind of look at together, you know, see what it's worth. See what, see, what, see what it's like, see if it's good off the shelf, see if we can add anything to it, see if we can take anything away, see how we can modify that to make it, make it suit our purposes. So, you know, maybe we'll do something like that or maybe I'll just think of something between now and then and do something entirely different. But at least I'll be back with some content, I'll be uh, making content um, and uh, we'll have some fun with that. So. Thank you everybody for joining me today. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I try to get back to everybody's comment. Try to at least like it, um, give you a thumbs up. I try to add uh, my response when I can. I don't get a lot of them, so there's really no excuse for me not to. Um, I do the best I can, but again, like, share, subscribe, give me ideas. I'll do the best I can. And I'm so glad that you could join me today on Wacky, Weird, and Wild Wednesdays. Again, it wasn't too wacky, too weird, too wild, but it was a Wednesday, so I think we hit the W thing quite good. And um, this is, uh, you know, this, is, this has been a fun series so far. I hope to keep adding more new and different items for you. Kind of maybe like, you know, like I said, the durian fruit stuff is really bad. Or, you know, like some bacon soda. Oh, I just got that. It's it's not baking soda, it's bacon soda. It's a pun, and I didn't even know it. You know, something like that. Or, if we really want, this is the actual dried durian. This is the flesh of the plant. This stuff will reek. Um, I would imagine that I will be kicked out of the house after opening that. It will relegate me to even a farther back portion of the basement. So, you never know, but... Again, this is uh, Matt from This and That with Matt. It's Wacky, Weird, and Wild Wednesdays. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. I will see you all next time for Survival Saturday. Everybody have a great night, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks.